These liquid metal blobs display some of the weirdest chemistry I've ever seen. It looks like it's alive, doesn't it? And then it just kind of pops back into a droplet. This remarkable experiment is really quite easy to set up. You start by adding a solution of copper 2 and hydrochloric acid to a Petri dish. And then just inject in some gallon stand. Gallon stands a liquid metal alloy that consists of three elements, gallium, indium, and tin. It looks like mercury, but has a much lower toxicity, so it's safe to hold in your hand. When injected into the solution, a chemical reaction occurs between the gallium atoms on the surface of the liquid and the copper ions in the solution. Copper nanoparticles are formed as a result of this reaction, and these nanoparticles adhere to the surface of the liquid blob. The copper nanoparticles form this black stuff you see on the surface of the wormy structure. It's important to recognize that when copper nanoparticles adhere to the surface, the surface tension of the gallon stand also changes. Interestingly, however, the formation of the copper nanoparticles doesn't occur uniformly over the whole surface of the liquid metal. For example, you can still see some regions of the surface that are shiny. It turns out that the regions that have copper nanoparticles adsorbed have a lower surface tension than the original liquid metal surface. So it's these regions with lower surface tension that spread out more, and this causes the protrusions from the liquid blob. In addition to being formed on the surface, the copper nanoparticles can also be engulfed by the liquid metal, and this allows for repeated deformations. When all of the copper nanoparticles have finally been engulfed by the liquid, the surface becomes uniform again, and the spherical droplet reforms. But hey, I know you're going to also want to check this out. Watch what happens when I add just a few crystals of copper chloride next to the droplet of gallon stand. Isn't that crazy? It looks like it's eating the crystals. In this case, the chemical reaction that forms the copper nanoparticles occurs more quickly on the side of the liquid metal that's closest to the crystals. And remember, these nanoparticles on the surface lower the surface tension of the liquid. This makes the region of the gallon stand that's closest to the crystals have the lowest surface tension. The side with the lower surface tension spreads out more easily, and where does it spread? Into more copper crystals. This makes the process continue in a runaway effect in which the liquid metal continually moves toward the copper crystals. It's like a chemical Pac-Man. If you'd like to learn more about this fascinating chemical reaction, check out this article in the Journal of Chemical Education by Bing Xing Wang and co-workers. Hey, what do you think about this chemical reaction? Does it kind of look like a chemical Spider-Man venom? A chemical Pac-Man? I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.